guys, and thanks for stopping by my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I got from Chewy. Now, you may be wondering, what does Tiffany get her animals? The answer is everything. <laughs> I just got a puppy. If you're not aware, and I thought we needed more stuff. So let's go ahead and open it. Now, when I say my pets are spoiled, I mean it. Okay, I don't know where to start. Let's start with the main reason that I purchased anything, and that is this thing. I have a, what is it? The Platinum Drink Well, which is a uh, automatic, what, what, what do you got? Hey, what are you chewing on? No. Okay, so I got a pet fountain, however, the dog that I got is a Mastiff and pretty soon her face is not gonna fit in it. So I looked online and I tried to find the largest automatic pet water dish kind of thing. And I found this pet safe two gallon uh, pet fountain. <clears throat> now I may or may not insert a clip of it put together. I'm not gonna do that right now because I've got a lot of things to do. But just know this holds two gallons of water and hopefully that on top of the other one, on top of the standard regular metal dishes I have, will be enough for her. Moving along. I also got a box of bully sticks. <clears throat> These are six inch jumbo beef bully sticks, 20 pieces. Now, people often ask me, I don't know why, I guess because I know a lot about dogs. It's like the only thing I know a lot about. I don't know anything about anything, but I know dogs. And instead of giving your dogs rawhide, which is dangerous, first of all, it's not digestible completely. A lot of times it's treated with harsh chemicals like formaldehyde. A better alternative is a bully stick. And let me show you what they look like. <clears throat> They put it in a box just to put it in a bag. Okay, is the bag resealable? Yes, good. Now, you can get bully sticks that are regular and they stink, okay? I admit, they stink. They also make low odor or no odor bully sticks if it's an issue for you. It's not an issue for me. I kind of have a bad sense of smell, sort of. I mean, I can still smell it, but it doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't bother me. Things that bother me are like perfumes, strong, man-made scents, chemicals. I, it gives me a headache almost immediately. So I don't wear perfume. <clears throat> this smells like a barnyard and I'm okay with it. This is a bully stick. If you don't know what a bully stick is, it's made of the tendon from a bull's penis. I know it's kind of gross, but it's completely digestible. Almost every dog I've ever met absolutely loves these and it's good for their teeth. It's good for them to chew on. Safe alternative to rawhide. Come here guys, come here. So let me introduce you to my dogs if you don't know them. Here's Shadow. Uh, she's an English Mastiff. And as you can see, this is the first bully stick she's ever had. She still has her puppy teeth. <laughs> um, she should be getting rid of those pretty soon. But look, she likes it, which is good because I bought a crap ton of them. So I'm gonna let her go now. Here you go, honey. You get down, go play with that. Titus, come here, I'll give you one. Come here. Do you want one too? Now Titus is my chihuahua and he is very picky. But what I've noticed is since we got a puppy, he's become less picky. Weird, isn't that? Like si sibling rivalry, if you will things that he usually didn't want in before, all of a sudden, now he wants it. He never liked these kinds of things. And now he may not take it from me right now, but he will take it from her, his sister, Shadow. <laughs> yes, he will. He has, he has grown into one of those dogs that didn't want it before, but now it's like, oh my God, I love it so much and she can't have it, I must have it. So we're gonna put him down. Here, do you want this? He took it. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Basically what I did was I bought the water fountain and then I stocked up on chews because chews are very important 
in keeping me sane because the puppy has so much energy. We walk two miles a day, you guys. Half of it's uphill. I got more bully sticks. See that? These ones are, uh, see, it says natural rawhide alternative. And this is a thick bully stick 10 pack. Okay, lots and lots of bull penises. All right, then I also got replacement filters for the, um, the water, the automatic water that I purchased. It's uh, carbon filtration and also has foam filtration. That's just to get me through. Every time I film, every time I film, this happens. Okay. Now these are not like, these are not technically my favorite things to give dogs, but as she, as my puppy is growing, I think it's okay. Eventually she will, I will phase these out, but I think these are nice for a long-term treat for now. In between the bully sticks, Titus, enough. <clears throat> these are um, Nyla bone. Now Nyla bone makes non-edible bones and edible bones. The non-edible bones are super hard and you have to be careful that the dog doesn't like bite off a large chunk and swallow it because it's an obstruction and I don't recommend getting those. These however are edible. Um, they are made with wheat starch, potato starch, bison, and you know just nothing terrible in my opinion. Not the best thing in my honest, humble opinion, but it's a long-term chew, hopefully, for the puppy. Now, because I bought her quite a few different flavors and shapes, I thought, because Titus can be a little jerk sometimes, I bought him some too, a little bit more of his size, just so that there isn't so much fighting. Although, even if I give even if I give one to one, they're still gonna fight over the same thing, right? It's just how it is. Uh, these are nice, these are made in the USA. And so I have a plethora of chews now with the water and the filtration extras and all of the bully sticks. <clears throat> I am a very large proponent of healthy, natural chews, bully sticks, which are tendons, cow hooves, uh, goat horns, bison horns, all of those things are natural and I feel very confident giving them, giving them to my own dogs and my dogs are my children. I would never recommend something I wouldn't give to my own pets. So that was this chewy order. What did you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. I could talk about dogs all day, you guys. Anyways, thanks for putting up with me and my weirdness and everything I do and all the spoiling of the pets. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.